USC School of Pharmacy, in association with USC Good Neighbors Campaign, LA Care Health Plan, and Inland Empire Health Plan present Rosa Out of Control. Rosa is picking up her son, Eddie, from school. Hi, Eddie. How was school today? Boring. Ooh, the ice cream man. Can I get one, Mom? Okay. Double chocolate fudge for you, right, Mom? That's right. My favorite. Just then, Eddie's physical education teacher approaches Rosa. Ms. Martinez. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. Lately, Eddie doesn't want to participate in any physical activities. I'm also concerned that he's gained more weight. He's just very healthy, that's all. Kids need to develop good eating habits, and it's important to make physical activity a part of their everyday lives. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Mom, here's your ice cream. Esperanza, Rosa's sister, is visiting for a few weeks. What is she doing? How weird. Take that, fat! <laughs> I'm diabetes! <laughs> My sister's kids shouldn't be out there laughing. They should be down here fighting fat with me! <laughs> Later that day... Thank you, Espy, for making dinner. How nice of you. I've made lean turkey meatball soup with vegetables. It's really tasty and healthy. Ew, that sounds gross. I'd rather have fries. Hey, Mom, Aunt Esperanza was doing something weird outside today. Eddie, don't be rude to your aunt and eat your food or you can't have any cake. <laughs> it's okay, Rosa. Eddie. I was doing my kickboxing routine. By yourself? Yes. It's fun and great exercise. It's good for my heart and it burns calories. Why do you have to burn calories, Espy? You're so skinny. <laughs> you know I have diabetes and I have to take care of myself. You guys should exercise with me. I'd rather play video games or go on the internet. Mm, your mom and I used to exercise together when we were younger. Our thing was dancing. Really, Mom? Oh, yeah. We learned all kinds of dances. I would have loved to have seen that. Well, as a matter of fact... Look! I brought an old photo album with me. Here's a photo of your mom and I learning to dance salsa. Oh, I want to see. You look so different. You used to look so pretty. And sexy. Used to? Espy, put that away. That was a long time ago. Oh, look at this one. Your hairstyle is awesome, Mom. Wow. I was so thin back then. What happened to me? After dinner, Rose and Esperanza clean up. Vanessa hardly ate anything tonight. In fact, she hasn't been eating much at all lately. That can't be good. Rosa, you're not going to believe this, but little Anita has been diagnosed with diabetes. Anita, our niece? Yes. Her doctor said Anita is obese and she has type 2 diabetes. Poor Anita. You should take Eddie and Vanessa for a checkup. They're overweight too, you know. Just in case. My kids? Why? Hey, I know they're chubby, but that's because they eat so well. They're chubby but healthy. You know that. Rosa. The idea that chubby means healthy is a myth. I've been here for two weeks now and all you ever have in your refrigerator for them is junk food, like cake, fried chicken, soda. And why don't you limit their TV and video games and encourage them to play outside instead? Hey, why don't you stop trying to tell me how to raise my kids? Where did that come from? I'm just trying to help you. And why did you have to bring out those old pictures of me? I'm so embarrassed. Embarrassed? Why? You were hot back then. 
Exactly, back then. Oh, never mind. You don't understand how it feels to be overweight. I do understand. I used to be overweight too, remember? But ever since I found out I have diabetes, I have to check my sugar levels and watch my weight. Diabetes runs in our family. You do know that, right? You should get a checkup too. Esperanza, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I've had enough of you trying to tell me how to run my family. Good night. Poor Rosa. I was just trying to help. In the middle of the night, Rosa craves a snack. Hmm, what should I eat? Oh, we still have fried chicken left. Or maybe I'll have more chocolate cake and soda. Maybe Espy's right. What man is ever going to look at me again looking like this? I can't remember the last time I went out dancing or on a date. I don't even want to eat. I just want to stop feeling so sad and alone. I really just need somebody to hold me right now. The next day, Rosa and her kids go to the local market. Mom, what are we having for dinner tonight? Hey, Mom, can I have a donut? No, Eddie. I'm already buying you soda and ice cream. Please? Oh, all right then. Why doesn't Mom ever buy the healthy snacks I want? I'm going to make grilled fish tonight with some tomatoes and cilantro. What do you think? Sounds good, Mom. Can I also get some bananas for my cereal? Sure. Hmm. A few days later, Rosa and Vanessa shop for a dress for Vanessa's 8th grade graduation. Oh, this dress is nice. Can we look in this store? Excuse me. My daughter loves this dress. Do you have it in a larger size? I'm sorry, ma'am. Large is the biggest size, and we do not carry plus sizes. Just try it on, Vanessa. Vanessa tries on the dress, but it does not zip up. Ugh. Don't worry. Tomorrow, I'll ask my friend April to make you an even nicer dress than this one. Let's go have lunch now. It's been a long day. I'm not hungry. Vanessa, you have to eat. Rosa and Vanessa go to their favorite fast food restaurant and order a burger, fries, and soda. Hi, ladies. Are you having your usual? Will I ever find a nice dress that fits me? A little later, while enjoying an ice cream, a billboard catches Rosa's attention. Be skinny now. I lost 30 pounds with the new Fast Trim. It was easy, painless, and fast. Hmm, I wonder if I can lose weight fast too. I'm going to see if the pharmacy sells this Fast Trim product. Well, since this dress didn't fit, I'm going to eat this ice cream. The next day, Rosa goes to her neighborhood pharmacy. I'm so happy to hear that you've managed to keep your weight under control, Mrs. Garcia. Yes, thank you. I went to see my doctor, as you had suggested, and he is helping me establish a healthy eating and exercise plan. Excuse me, what can you tell me about the new weight loss product? I've seen the ads on billboards around town. Well, I think you should talk to your doctor. You have to be careful about the ads that claim rapid or extreme weight loss. They can be very dangerous and tend not to work long term. But I have to do something about my weight. Any suggestions? The best way to lose weight and keep it off is to change your diet by including more vegetables, fruits, and lean proteins in your meals. And to exercise a total of at least 60 minutes a day, five days a week. What about my kids? How can I help them lose weight? As parents, we have to set a good example for our kids in regards to exercise and healthy eating. If you don't make it a priority, they won't either. You can start with simple changes. Instead of soda, drink water. Replace red meat with lean meats like chicken, turkey, or fish. Also, do not fry food with lard, but use olive oil and steam, broil, or barbecue instead. 
And after dinner, try skipping sugary desserts and try healthier snacks, such as fruit or nuts. I never really thought of it that way. Later that day. What's wrong, Vanessa? You haven't been yourself lately and you don't seem to be eating much. That's because graduation is in a few weeks and I don't have a dress. The ones I like don't fit me. It's not your fault. You're always forcing me to eat greasy foods and sweets. Why don't you ever buy healthy food like the kind of food Aunt Esperanza eats? Maybe I do need to make some changes around here. Later that evening, Rosa watches her favorite soap opera. My love, I don't love you. One day I'll have a thin body like that actress. No, don't forgive him, he's lying. He cheated on you with that other skinny girl. She's making a mistake. My love, if you forgive me, I'll do anything you want. Let me think about it. This could be good for the both of us. The next day, while Rosa waits for Eddie at school. Hi, April. Hi, Susan. Hi, Hi Rosa. Rosa. How are you? Hey, I've been meaning to ask you, why doesn't Eddie eat during lunch? What do you mean? I started volunteering at the cafeteria and I haven't seen Eddie there. Don't worry, Rosa. After school, Eddie and my Luis go to the little market to buy chili cheese fries and a soda. Rosa, I think that kind of food may be too fattening for Eddie. So what do I do? Oh, April, don't exaggerate. Rosa, Eddie's a little plump like my little Luis. They're chubby but healthy. I'm not so sure about that anymore, Susan. The pharmacist said our kids need to eat better and that it's up to us to set a good example. The pharmacist is right. Kids these days eat too much junk food. Rosa decides to see her doctor. Rosa, I'm concerned about your weight. I realize I've put on a few pounds. Let's check your body mass index, also known as BMI. BMI is based on your height and weight. If you're overweight, it means your BMI is between 25 and 29.9. If you're obese, it means your BMI is greater than 30. Also, I'm going to have you tested for diabetes, just in case. Diabetes? But I just came here for a checkup. I understand, but given your family history and you being over your ideal weight, I just want to be sure. Okay, but diabetes isn't that serious, right? Diabetes is a serious disease. If it's not controlled, it can lead to blindness, heart attacks, strokes, and even loss of limbs. If you have it, it's best to detect it early so you can take the necessary steps to manage it and stay healthy. Can my children get diabetes too? Yes. Since diabetes runs in your family, all of you are at risk. Are your kids overweight or obese? Well, my kids are a little on the chubby side. Make sure your kids see their doctor. You can ask the doctor about their BMI. Children are at higher risk for diabetes now more than ever. It is because of being overweight or obese. Childhood obesity has tripled in the past 30 years. Today, over 20% of 6 to 11-year-olds are considered obese. Obese children are more likely to be obese as adults. Overweight or obese adults are at higher risk for diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. Did you know that your children's generation is the first generation who may die younger than their parents will? What? Wow, I didn't know that. That's scary. A few weeks later on the day of Vanessa's eighth grade graduation. Thank you, Espy. You were right. I went to see my doctor and I didn't even realize I was on my way to developing diabetes. Thank goodness I don't have it, but I've decided to make changes in the way the kids and I eat, and I feel good about it. That's great news, Rosa. I'm happy to hear that. I understand now that you were just trying to help because you were concerned about our health. 
but things will be different around here from now on. Vanessa and I are eating better and exercising more. That Eddie is another story though. I need to work on him. Mom, I love my new dress. You look so beautiful. Three months later, Rosa and Vanessa are on their way to a fitness class. Wow, you two look great. Thank you, Espy. And thanks for staying here with Eddie. Not a problem. You ladies have fun at your class. Eddie and I are going to exercise too. I'm going to teach him what this weird kickboxing thing is all about. Take that, fat! <laughs> I'm diabetes! Be good, Eddie. I left a snack in the refrigerator for you in case you get hungry. Mmm, yummy! Baby carrots, ew! Ooh, jicama! With chili and lime! Now that's what I'm talking about! Rosa finally learned to fill her refrigerator with healthy food, like plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. Water instead of soda, and low-fat milk instead of whole milk. Questions and answers about obesity. What is obesity? Obesity is having so much body fat that your health is in danger. This can lead to serious health problems like diabetes, heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and arthritis. Anyone with body mass index or BMI of 30 or higher is obese. BMI value is decided by your height and weight. How do I know if I'm overweight? Anyone with BMI between 25 and 29.9 is overweight. Your health may be at risk for getting diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, and other serious problems. How do I know if my child is obese? A child is obese when his or her weight is 20% or more above the normal weight. If you are worried, ask your doctor to review your child's growth chart and medical history with you. If I have an obese child, what can my family do to help? Healthy lifestyle change starts with you. You are your children's role model. Start by making healthy food choices. When cooking, broil, bake, or barbecue your food. It is important to start healthy eating habits for the whole family. How much exercise do my children need? Kids need 60 minutes of physical activity every day. You can have fun with your kids by running, jumping rope, or playing games like soccer, football, and basketball together. Pick an activity that everyone likes. Watching TV and playing video games should be limited to fewer than two hours a day. Why is it so important for my child to eat breakfast? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Skipping breakfast can leave your child hungry, tired, and unfocused at school. Make time in the morning to make sure your kids have a healthy breakfast. Sometimes I don't have time to cook. Is it okay to eat fast foods? Fast foods are often high in fat and salt and low in nutrients. A healthier option is to cook homemade meals more often, which can also bring the family together. Can beverages contribute to childhood obesity? Many beverages, such as soda and fruit juice, are high in sugar. A healthy alternative would be water or low-fat milk. Is it a good idea to reward my children with food? Rewarding kids with junk food sends a wrong message. For example, promising sugary desserts to a child for eating vegetables lets them know that vegetables are less valuable than dessert. Kids learn to dislike foods they think are less valuable. For additional information on childhood obesity, visit the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC website, www.cdc.gov slash healthyweight.